obligation to Big Mama, Mother Nature, to clean the land up at the close of the age, to restore the waters and the airwaves back to its pristine purity. And that's not going to take no week. That's not a two-week no. cleanup job. We're talking about a no. job that can take us a couple hundred years, but we have to start on it, but we can't start on it until one of us learns civics well enough so that we can execute the uh, galactic law overriding the corporate jurisdictions of contract law. Right. And from the position of um, galactic law, when you discover uh, an injustice, you, you report it to the people to determine if they want to remain in the injustice or if they want the justice to prevail over the injustice. So this is why we always have to put it in the public domain and the paperwork becomes irrelevant. This oral tradition preceding the paperwork tradition. And uh, 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 no, would you at least say no for a surety you are what your forefathers were without a doubt or a contradiction. And Elijah Muhammad say, go back to what your forefathers done. We was an oral tradition, so that means putting it in the public domain is how we made our presence felt among the people. Then when we discover any anomaly that negatively affects every clan, then we have the obligation to inform as many clans who's willing to listen to the problem that comes with a solution. The solution that I'm telling the people right now is that we have to destroy this old system so that our system can be restored. When our system of matriarchy is restored, cleaning off parts of the land to take care of and reclaim. If the land got to be cleansed, we got to have uh, purity rituals held on the land, land from the blood spilling and the bloodletting rituals they've done all over the land. Um, all of these murders and um, slaughters that they've done over the years have a negative residual energy that affects us. All of the people don't have to be aware, but the ones who understand it is obligated to explain it to the ones nearest to them in terms they can understand of what's taking place on the land. So my job by default became the person that's running through the communities telling all of the tribes similarly situated, which happens to be all 500 in North America, and some change, and they all have to agree to overthrow the old system, and then the old system goes away. So the question you asked me earlier about Malachi, he's in continuity of government. He has to be there because he has one of the largest tribes on the land, right? Farrakhan has to be there. They can't not be there. If the government is going to revert back to us, our leadership... Um, has to be there, which includes those political prisoners that we mentioned earlier all have to be there. And this is all taking place in real time. It's just that the people are stuck on this narrative of the old system trying to hold on to his last few sips of power. So now they cup is empty. I'm about to slap that motherfucker off the table because I want my sisters to get their shit back. Mama said, don't let nobody take nothing from my brothers and sisters. And they got first right to the rights to the earth. So if we're going to fix the problem, you put it everything where it properly go, it'll run the way it's supposed to run, and you don't got to micromanage everything. Right. You ain't got to worry about it. Just put, put the most qualified person to lead the position in the current conditions. I might not be qualified to lead this charge in 10 years because my qualifications might have exhausted themselves by doing certain work. But somebody else going to come along behind me and say, this is how we take what you was doing to the next level. Right? So right. we taking it to the next level and the highest level we can take it is to the grand matriarch in order to restore balance to the land. And we all know who and that I is. And like I like what you said. I like what you're saying, Rob, because you know, you're not saying that you are the end, the be all and the end all. But for this season, you are doing the work that you've been assigned for me for this season. Yeah. I'm doing the work that I'm assigned. And just like you said about Grand Sheik, we get to a place where we need to be able to get to a place where as we become elders, that we can relax from that because there are a younger uh, a, a crew coming in that should be preparing themselves to take a leadership role and to let the elders be 
revered and let the the the, the younger then do, do, to me do the heavy lifting. I'm I'm hoping that somebody will come and take over. I do so much um, when it comes to the House of Reawakening Minds from the standpoint of the day to day is me. It's the calls, you know. It's it's the creating the this. It's the can do it. I mean, Grant Sheik and I basically work together, but he does what he does when he comes here and talks, and he does work if work needs to be done in the building. But when it mm-hmm. comes to the mechanics of things, this is no huge, huge, huge organization, but it's a huge, huge, huge responsibility to a very broad spectrum of people. So it has to be done with, you know, some level of, of professionalism and precision, even though we have these, you know, technical things, these are things that we got to, you know, get beyond, but the, we take seriously the work, we take seriously the fact that we've been put in this position for this time to be a connector, you know, knowing that somebody else is going to come along and pick up the, the baton at some point and they need, you know, and it needs to be a smooth transition. That's what we need to be doing. Preparing yeah. those to, to come up and, and, and take the baton. So when, when, when people will be asking me, uh, how can I um, not promote myself as higher based on my knowledge? I learned from Chancellor Williams that, that he gonna always be a greater teacher than me because he taught me. So the greater I become, the greater that make him. I taught from Taj, right? So the greater I become in the application of civics is a testimony of the greatness of Taj. Absolutely. I can't never overshadow them. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants who stood on the shoulders of giants. I'm just a midget that can see the furthest. That's how I see it. So all of them that did the work before me laid the foundation for my work to be able to be functional and usable because I'm not usable if I don't have something to use. And anything that don't have something to use and that's not usable is open to be misused. And that's why they don't like to conjure me up. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. We're glad they did. Many of us are, you know. Like I said, love you or hate you, you know, it doesn't matter. You 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 came here to do a, a, a job and you're doing it. And um and whether you you know, whether you know I have folks <laughs> whether you smoke a cigarette or whatever else you smoke, you know, whatever. Or you curse or say words that are whatever they feel like it might be cuss cuss you're not cursing cuss words um it, that's your mannerism I, and that's <laughs> and that's part of rebellion okay because like i said being politically correct and the politics are not correct is being insane so to use the profanity to be cussing is to be belligerent to the improper politics being imposed on our people so any politician that I don't hear say motherfucker, I ain't I ain't trying to hear. <laughs> he can't be politically correct and be about what's right. It, it's incompatible in this system because the politics is not correct because right. there's too many people suffering and struggling trying to get a better day from a sour lemon that they don't have enough sugar to make lemonade with because somebody stole a sugar that they had the first right to before they even seen it. So now they can't even make sugar out of the lemon. I mean, lemonade out of the lemons. So now they just got some squeezed lemon water. Right. And there's some things, you know, even I'm sure you can you. I I know, you know, like there's things I know, Grand Sheik, we know that we are not at liberty to speak freely, you know, in these venues like this. And that's another reason. And that's a good segue. That's another reason why up close and personal is we'll call up close and personal, because Mm -hmm. that's when. We get to, you know, you know, no cameras. And, you know, I'm sure there are folks that sneak and put their little recorder on to hear things, but no cameras. And we're able to speak freely on the things that need to be conveyed so that, you know, we take we use the oral tradition again and start once you learn something. If it resonates with you then you take it and when you get home, you share it and let, let somebody else so we can pass that knowledge on. So for those of you who um, want to come and. Um, see myself, Grand Sheik, Brother Dave, Mother Kai, Dr. Botanica, you know, other folks. And uh, and there, and there are other folks, three days, three whole days of coming together. Um, the third day is a holistic wellness um, uh, fair. And we're going to be raffling up like $4,000 worth of uh, wonderful mat- uh, uh, matronite, merchandise. The, the biggest uh, raffle prize is a $2,000, 2000 note, whatever. Um, bio crystal sleep M match queen size mattress topper, which is amazing. 
um, and some other sleep in products and other, you know, we have a bunch of stuff, but that is the most, that's the biggest of it. Somebody's going to win it, whether they're here or not. That's the wonderful thing. We will actually, if you can't come, we just have straight up 25 uh, note donations for the our fundraiser raffle ticket and you get a chance to win. And if you in California, we'll ship it to you. We'll still ship you the, you know, the queen size mattress topper if you're not here. Or if you win and you're here and you came on a plane, we'll still ship it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, we want you to uh, come out and be with us um, on that weekend. We're going to have a, a wonderful time. So What's malicious. the date? Again, August, 20, August 26th, 27th, 28th. Okay. 20, Seven 20, days 20. after my father's birthday. My father's birthday the 21st. Ah, okay. So it's seven yeah. days to the day after my father's birthday. 20, but um, this is the thing that we need to be looking for um, coming up because it's Wilmington, Delaware. Somebody asked what part of Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. I'm gonna put the, the thing up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, Brian. So while you do that, put the uh, address and stuff up for the people. Oh, you the, can, yeah, you talk and I'll just put this up. And they can just yeah. see the band. So what we need to be looking for to transpire because we're on the verge of a total economic collapse in what we call the Americas. The mm -hmm. economy is on its like final leg. Um, also, we need to be lo looking for uh, public exposure of the election fraud um, being revealed with hardcore, irrefutable evidence. That all got to come out. All mm -hmm. of that's going to lead up to the restoration of the matriarchy and the uh, um, reorganizing of the matriarchs across the land in order to properly administer government. Because we know how to do this now. So Noble Drew Ali did his job. He gave Taj his mission. He done his job. C. Freeman Hill done his job metaphysically. Um, Charles Mosey Bay gave us this clock of destiny to look at. So they all doing a part. So one of us from the land got to tie all of the pieces together across the red and the blue in order to get to Big Mama House on the black and gold, which is the coals for the furnace that we used to use to burn in her living room and the gold, mm -hmm. which we used to do trade among the tribes. So we getting back to the wealth of the land, which is the substance and not the debt of the land, which is the uh, slave system, right? So um, these things are imminent. They come in. I don't know what's going to be the straw or the, the grand exposure of it, but you have to see it coming because all of the indicators is saying that it can happen any day. Then uh, yeah. Trump gave a whole uh, lecture on the... Um, election steal the night that I left to go perform my functions for Big Mama which was oddly timed enough to get my attention and he was talking about there is no way that the American people are going to continuously be subjugated by these frauds so that's where we at with it that's what's coming okay well yeah I'm not you're still there I'm just I got one the banner that's running now is kind of like big it's showing my day. It's showing that state stuff that was showing the new me, the new me of uh, the um, the the uh, mm -hmm. nanostatic um, glutathione and the stuff that I spray on my face. That's making me look a little bit younger for sixty-seven. <laughs> you know what the irony of this picture is? It's, it's got a lot of simple. You know, I read every picture like a tarot card. Okay. And so what'd you the before no makeup picture. Uh huh. Right. The, I can't see the full hand symbols, but it looked like your hands are crossed. I think it's kind of up to no, my no, no. throat. That's your left oh. hand. Your, that's your hand on your breast. Right. Right. And uh -huh. then, um, so this is a, the secrets out in the open. That's the same as with Nova Joe Ali telling us he put the secrets in the public domain. And then the after, the 40 days later, have you smiling in, in the gold. And black and gold is Big Mama House. But the background is blue. That means the blue house. So you was already preloaded to give the report at the right time so the people can know it. And the uh, new me, I got to find out about that. So I'm going to be looking into that because the new me is a homonym for the new me. And you look at that. Yeah. So the <laughs> old me versus the new me. That's the transformation um, message from Big Mama. The old earth becomes the new earth. Absolutely. Well, 
Let me let me take that off. Well, I oops, 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 oops. I, I, I'm, I'm like I said, I have to figure out all the things I'm doing, you know. But yeah, so I'm, you know, it's it's just wonderful, you know, to to be un unmade. I used to, have, would, I would not dream of coming on camera without some makeup to cover loose spots and some eyeshadow and some mascara and lipstick and cheek. I was like, nah. I'm I'm learning to love the skin I'm in, and it's helping me, you know, clear it up and, you know, be happy with who who I am. You know what I mean? This is me. <laughs> yeah, this that's what me. facilitates the glow too. Yes, 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 yes. And so you guys can can have the same thing, um, of course. And between that and chokeberry and sleep M and all of that stuff, um, you know, we got a little bit of uh, we got mattresses <laughs> with sixteen crystals and gold and silver in them. <laughs> that people can sleep on and get well. Um, choke berry that they can take. Nanos particles they can put in there. I mean, every time I find something that is holistic and works for me, I got, it's got to work for me first. I, I can't just give it to you and I don't know whether it works for me. At least I can say it works for me. Because if it doesn't work for me, then it's nine times out of ten, it may not work for you either. So we try to bring that stuff to you. But anyway, it has been real awesome amazing and um i'm sure that those who you know there were questions that folks i do apologize y'all we wanted this to be mainly about uh, you know talking about our brother rod and his background and i know y'all have a lot of questions and um we'll, we'll get you back you know we'll get, get you know i have another um another um show i call and i haven't done it for over a year brother rod called open circle gathering and that open open circle gathering is a place and i may even just do it on um zoom this time maybe so that folks can literally come on and and ask questions and so forth we could do like 100 people on it but open circuit circle gathering is to talk about spirit so-called spiritual stuff and so-called you know freedom from dogma and things and i know you said you know if that's what they want if that that's fine but if that's if you're trying to get out of of the matrix that's where the open circle gathering comes in so folks can be free to talk about their journey and there's other when you were talking, you were talking about your what you saw. And I saw in the chat where other folks were saying, "No, people didn't believe me when I had X Y Z experience." We want folks to be comfortable in whatever experience. You know, they have that's that's one of the goals of House of Reawakening Minds. It's a it's a a a it's dedicated to the practice of spirituality, what we call an enlightened community that's dedicated to honor the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We know that there's not one road. We know that there's many roads, and we'll meet up. You know at the place that we're supposed to but you need to be free to be able to exercise your spiritual self or your you know whatever you want to call it your pathway and not be persecuted for it because it's not the way the person next to you is doing it yeah and you know the the part is you got to always remember when you judging somebody else the same standard apply to self right most people don't want to hold themselves accountable for what they condemn other people for and when you see people fall, and uh, they might not be indeed the dirt they're accused of. Everybody not guilty. Right. It's an orchestrated plan to keep us from um, reclaiming the land and evicting the imposters is one. Right. Right. And the second thing is, I'm not part of the spiritual community or the conscious community because the people in the spiritual community are spiritually dead and the people in the conscious community is diet woke. I'm part of the tribal community of families that's coming together as a family confederacy across the land that just want to live in peace and harmony and happily ever after. The way they want to, right? Right. Without the restrictions of uh, artificial legal fiction imposing a heartless regime on the people. That's yeah. all. I, I'm not trying to do no... Uh, I'm not trying to uh, be greedy and consume the world for myself. What am I going to do with all of it? I can't do nothing but give it to the people anyway. After a while, you know, stuff becomes just it's stuff. And I, you know, and I'm gonna say this, and I know we, we're gonna go. But one of the things I realized, you know, there was a scripture that says, or at least it's not a scripture, it's a quote. Folks will say, "The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh." But when you think in terms of who the Lord is, um, I think now in terms of the system that has plied us with so many things that were unnatural to our natural wants and desires and environment, and now that they've given us all these things, technology and fancy this and that and the other now they're trying to snatch it away from us you know give it take it but if we had stayed in our natural uh you know habitat whatever this stuff would have never affected us because we wouldn't have gotten just like a child if you never give a child candy they'll never even desire it because they've never had it 
But once you say, oh, well, everybody else has get, got Halloween candy. Let me just, you can't go trick or treating, but here's a bag of candy. Next thing you know, now you've, you've addicted your child to one of the worst things that's around, sugar. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? They would have never had it. Sugar, had not, is, up. Well, sugar, not, is, sugar not as bad for you as people believe. Well, it's not good, but it's but not good. It's not the sugar. It's the bleaching agent and the sugar and the flour. Well, versus natural. Now you're right. You know, there's not the sugar, the granule, the refined, refined process, the way yeah. they bleach it. So no, they, no, no, you're right. It's not good at all. Not they good use, at all. They deliberately use toxins to uh cause side effects by the consumption of those mass-produced products. They know the bleaching agent in the sugar and the flour is toxic to the human. Well, cane so the sugar question is, is why do they keep putting it in there? Right, not because they're trying to do what it is they're doing, but cane sugar. And another thing that even though it sounds like it's not, like it may be some chemical, it's not. Xylitol is a real good substitute. It's a sweetener that's not, not aspartame or anything like that. It's a natural sweetener that will do the same thing and not give you the, you know, the, the issue that you would get by consuming sugar. So, you know, definitely please, if you drink, I'm using stuff like the, the pink packets and stuff like that. Stop. Stop. That's we, you might as well eat, you might as well eat sugar if you use them pink packets. Well, you might as well eat poison. If you, <laughs> That's what you're doing. You eat rat poison. Rat poison. Yes, right. Saccharin, so. saccharin in the sweet and low. Saccharin. saccharin yeah, I, I was trying not to give their name out. Just to, I'm just saying pink packets and stuff. But yeah, you you you're really doing yourself a disservice. But hey, listen. Thank you. Um, love you. You know, you my brother from another mother. Um. Both our mamas are looking up, looking at us from wherever they are and saying, way to go. Look, you know, that's my son. My mom's going, that's my baby. That's my <laughs> only baby. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm gonna, so anyway, this has been really um, wonderful, um, eye-opening, enlightening, and all of that stuff. So I appreciate you. Um, I really do. I really appreciate you. I appreciate, appreciate your candor and your honesty and really, you know, sharing, you know, your story, your, your, I know your journey. It's not a story, your journey um, with, with us. And I hope for those, some, some of those that this has put a totally different light and a perspective on who you are and that they will stop looking at you, look beyond that and listen to your, you and your, what your assignment is. Are you doing, are you fulfilling your assignment? And I, and the last thing is I've been getting calls from a few folks about men brothers called me last week they were trying to get in touch with you about uh, some training they must have heard on one of your videos for the sisters and um the, then they then i got a call about whether or not the, the sisters um didn't uh what they did on july 4th i was like I, I don't know i said well i don't do anything i'm retired so i didn't do anything different because i don't go punch a clock anywhere so i didn't know but they wanted to know about some training for the matriarchy that might have been mentioned on one of your other videos and i couldn't you know um, it's, it's several training um topics that i mentioned one of them was the training of the doulas at the doula center that's going to open up after we reclaim the land the other one is the rights of passage program for the youth um that training has to be done to revamp the education or the miseducation system into a proper uh education system um, and the other training is what's being done by the women at the MGT GCC, which is general civilization courses, which teaches the women how to be functional um, in the home and to understand um, a lot of the, uh, the mechanics of running a family and being the woman of the house that wasn't being taught before the, uh, in, the, um, in this type of setting until the Nation of Islam was set up after the fall they was doing it in the um uh morris women's consulate and they was doing it in the yeah, UN... i have a book i have right. a book a red book right. that and they got a they were doing it also in the unia uh nurse brigade under garvey and all of those programs were stumped out by the government like the breakfast programs of the black panthers and the um educational programs of the peace stones um, the community organization and efforts of the growth and development and the vice lords, all of them was squashed out by the government and then they villainized the people that put those programs together to remove them from our community. So there's a whole lot of training and it's also um, a, a lot of what we call uh, $5 Indians on reservations have certain um, 
um, spiritual practices that they were to hold in secret until we reclaim the land and now they have to give it all back. So these classes are not actually <coughs> going on yet, but these are things that need to happen. <coughs> mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Well, the, the women <clears throat> should attend the beginners classes, the MGT, GCC, and they can start there now. They they active. And some of the... Uh, what about the couple, sisters that are not necessarily, they're not in the nation of Islam? You I mean, don't have to, you don't have to be in the nation to attend the beginner's class. That's the first thing. The next thing is also the, uh, there is a functional Moorish women's consulate in New York and I think D.C. is where they was at, where they was headquartered at. But they know the old teachings of the Moorish Women's Consulate from the days of Noble Jew Ali. And they've also took steps to update it. Right. So there's women's groups. Um, like there's a sister in New York that does a uh, uh, Goddess Glow Up, which teaches the women about harnessing their personal power and um, being a beacon of light wherever they go. So all of these is in... Um, all of these places can be found, but people got biases that they have to overcome to get the information. I had biases I had to overcome too. Right. Well, if you have if you have any information that you could share with me offline with, with like how I can get in touch and pull some of these um, things together. Um, let me see. Latanya said, I'm okay, here's uh, okay, wait a minute. This is something. I'm former MGT and can support this training for those who don't want to join the nation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this is my, my sister. So, so uh, what you do with her is you get her information. I have her information. I know and you, you can funnel the women. They can contact you as a connector. Okay. And y'all can just start setting it up because she already knows what to do. She's already yeah, she was high up in there. She was high, high, high ranking in there. So mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you, Sister. I, I'll reach out to her. I know who she is. All right. Thank All right. you, Dr. C, for having me. Thank you for coming on, as usual. This has been great. All, All right. right. We, we Lessons leaving. to reawaken minds to reawaken the minds. And it was a <laughs> pleasure talking to the people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, All right Dr. G. I'll talk to you later. All right. All righty. Bye-bye. Okay.